Okay guys, for all you animal lovers out there, we got a really terrible story about a polar bear that's being abused. What's up guys, my name is Dave Waffle, and welcome to IO. So let me ask you guys, what is your favorite experience or animal that you've seen at the zoo? Mine would be the tamarind monkeys, but that's because they're just so cute. So this is Arturo, and let's be honest, he is a cute looking polar bear. And he's been living in South America for the last 20 years, specifically the Mendoza Zoo in Argentina. So he's 29 years old, and let's just say he doesn't look very happy, and is rumored to be a very depressed and sad polar bear. Now you're probably wondering, why is a polar bear looking very unhappy? Well first of all, let's talk about his living condition. Now he's been in captive for over two decades living in the Mendoza Zoo and his habitat is in an area that is usually over 40 degrees Celsius. Okay, seriously, you got a polar bear at a zoo and you're not even putting him in a cold environment? Now they say this animal is depressed simply because he's recently lost one of his lifetime best friends. And that would be his only other polar bear that he's seen in the last two decades, Palooza. Just imagine that guys, if you were captive for you know 20 years and having absolutely no contact with any of your other kind out there. That means you're contained from your family, your friends, and any other human being on the planet. Not right for me. I don't know about you guys. Although to be perfectly honest, polar bears have been known to be very, you know, solitary creatures. So let me ask you, if you guys are seeing these photos and you think it's kind of a disturbing thought, I want to know if you guys agree with me by hitting that like button right there. Now the good side about this story is the fact that Greenpeace is actually working hard to get this animal moved to a new location. Currently they've actually had over 165 thousand signatures. They actually wanted to move him to a zoo up in Canada where they actually had, you know, an air conditioner for the animal. Doza Zoo actually, you know, kiboshed that whole thing. Why? Because they believe that he won't make the two-day trip up to Canada. And why is that? Well, like I said, he is 29 years old. Most polar bears out in the wild live out to about 20 years versus being in captive, they can get generally around 30 years. Now, although he looks upset, there is the possibility that he could be suffering from dementia. Anybody who has an animal that's suffered from it, they know they don't really act the same way and they generally act confused and unhappy all the time. Now at least Arthur actually gets fed on a daily basis and I guess you could say the only thing that's good is he has a pool to keep cool. I feel this sort of story really reflects how irresponsible human beings can be. I feel like if you're gonna take an animal from the wild, you at least have to have elements of its, you know, natural habitat there. In this case, air conditioning. Either way, if you slice it down the middle, it's not really a good situation for the animal. If you guys are from Argentina and really want to support this cause, you can head over to Greenpeace and sign their petition. But I want to know your thoughts, guys, in the comments below. Do you think that the Mendoza Zoo is completely out of line and treating this animal very disrespectfully? And what are your thoughts on us moving animals around for your entertainment? So thanks for watching, guys. My name is Dave Wobble, and as I always say, keep it real, keep it classy, keep it on the flip side, out there in the real world. Later. Woo!